Jason, what industries would benefit most from Taiwan's membership in the CPTPP? I think it's very important that Taiwan is integrated into the regional economic framework. So being able to get into the CPTPP is paramount to the economic resiliency of Taiwan. And the industries that will benefit most are mostly um, agricultural uh, products and that already quite dependent on the imports to China. And so if we were able to get into CBDVP, which means that we were able to trade without too much barrier within the member countries, and I think it would be really good. And secondly, um, computer electronics uh, and automobile industry, uh, we trade a lot of auto parts uh, to uh, uh, right now to China, but I think once we get into CBDVP, this would help uh, countries that are uh, decoupling from China and for Taiwanese manufacturers that are uh, trying to uh, diversify away from China to help uh, set up shop in Southeast Asia or other uh, countries. You talked about diversifying away from China. Chips is a key export of Taiwan. Do you feel Taiwan's membership would actually strengthen Taiwan's chip industry? Still remain to be seen because uh, uh, Taiwan is still quite uh, integrated with the uh, the uh, downstream uh, packaging and manufacturing of the chips in China. Uh, and today, China also imports uh, uh, a lot of chips. It's actually the biggest net importer of chips and its components. Um, and with CPTPP, uh, I guess the countries that are, are um, in need of chips will probably be likely to buy chips from Taiwan. But those are probably only limited to the so-called mature chips. And those mature chips are already being produced in China uh, on a massive quantity and scale as well. But uh, other CPP, CPTPP member countries might be able to help attract more Taiwanese uh, companies to set up uh, mature nodes uh, in their own countries. As far as the advanced nodes that are uh, mostly produced by TSMC is still very much um, uh, uh, contingent on U.S.'s um, project, especially uh, the project in Arizona. Uh, they also have a strategic expansion in Japan and uh, maybe um, another plant in Europe, in Germany. Uh, so uh, it probably won't have a lot of uh, impact on um, high uh, advanced nodes, but uh, as far as the other parts in assembly and uh, low-end manufacturing, so I think it would have good benefit. What impact would CPTPP have on Taiwan's overall economy, um, especially in terms of GDP? Taiwan's economy is independent with mainland Chinese economy, especially in terms of trade. Um, China is still a very large uh, trade surplus uh, partner to Taiwan. So being able to be joining CBDVP uh, would help increase Taiwan's trade resilience and also uh, make Taiwan less dependent on the Chinese market, and which could probably reduce the chance of uh, re a coercion by CBB um, host hostilities, as well as the uh, trade um, uh, coercions. And I think in overall, um, it will make Taiwan's um, trade more diversified and more resilient and also uh, there are uh, parts and items that have uh, trade uh, barriers uh, such as um, uh, computer parts or other things that are not so competitive in terms of the trade barrier, barrier and tariffs. And once those are lifted within the CBDEP, I think we will see a lot of uh, uh, more uh, uh, increase in competitiveness and as well as the uh, uh, revenue uh, for the uh, Taiwan uh, manufacturers. But in terms of overall GDP growth, do you feel there could be a large increase or do you feel it is actually limited? It's more a strategic move. It's hard to predict the the uh, the increase um, uh, with the CPTPP, but I think we'll have to see how uh, countries uh, implement the initiatives uh, in correspondence to Taiwan's uh, emission and if Taiwan 
does join and how countries uh, will uh, develop uh, strategic uh, relations with Taiwan. And I think this will not come um, in, a, in, a, in a very large scale. It might come in a different sets of stages. So we have to see. Jason, setting aside the economic impact, do you feel this move, Taiwan's membership, would actually help Taiwan in terms of um, partnering with more countries given the rising threat from China? It is definitely helping Taiwan to be more resilient in trade and uh, in economy. And as I suggested it before, that uh, Taiwan's economy right now is still dependent on imports, uh, exports to China. Um, so it's important that we are integrated into a regional framework. And it's also sending a signal to the global community that Taiwan is not isolated, that we have um, the ability to also work um, uh, collaboratively with other uh, countries. And in the long run, I think um, it will definitely uh, increase Taiwan's visibility uh, internationally.